now in front of everyone for good measure. I'm sorry, Ron, that I made you pee your pants when we were like eight years old. <laughs> told me you can't have a girlfriend until you graduate. So the first thing I heard, I was like, oh, I got to my mom. <laughs> if you could only see our text in high school. Oh my God, why isn't he texting me back? You can do so much better than him. Oh my God, Ron is so annoying and I'm totally gonna beat him at math. <laughs> Since we were 12, it has always been clear that these two were soulmates. We made jokes about them getting married for years, but I think deep down we always knew it wasn't a joke. Hello? You look better than I imagined. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's both! <laughs> and that same girl he asked out is the one he's marrying tomorrow. Stuff. Yeah. I think that's why we're getting married, yeah. right? Ron Ron, please try not to piss your pants during the speech, okay? I remember in high school walking to the buses with Melissa and I asked her, are you and Ron ever gonna get married? And can I please be your maid of honor? You represent the best of us and you always have. Your proof that God has favorites, because you're God's favorite. The stars, they shine like diamonds in your eyes. Black dress on, you got me hypnotized. I keep feeling so I grew up a girl infatuated with love. I loved love. I watched princes whisk their princesses away on screens, or read as enemies became lovers on a page, and waited excitedly for the day that it would be my turn. I had no clue that I would only have to wait 11 years. You want to pull so hard! And in a time when many people wait decades for their forever, I already feel as if I've lived lifetimes in you. You make me feel so good. Melissa, my competitor, my companion, and my partner in crime. I've stood and grown up with you all these years. Remember how we used to sneak in a little handhold whenever we sat next to each other or shared a smile as I passed you by in the hall? Yes, I remember. I cherish those memories because even as young and dumb as we were, you made me happier than I could have ever asked for. I love the ugly dancing we do to greet each other. I love the way your hands fit into mine. I love the way you smile in the way that it brightens up my world and how your laugh is so addicting. I promise to hug and hold and sing and laugh and love you from today and forevermore. I love you. You make me feel so good. Melissa is the joy of my life. A daddy's girl from her birth, she was always been a princess to me. From the moment I held her, I knew she would always be my little girl. She is marrying a man that she can count on. A man who will be her protector and her best friend. And there is no one else I would rather pick up to her to be with. Whatever life throws at us, I promise to always choose you. I will choose nights with your snoring rumbling the house over quiet nights alone. 
I will choose your kindness and your intelligence and be your rock as you pursue your passions. I will choose to build you up and help you to continually become a better version of yourself than you already are. And I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have you choose me too. You are my home, my best friend, and the love of my life. Let's go get freaking new. There's a lot I can say about the couple we are celebrating today. I'll start off simple. My Ate, or Tay, or Tay Tay as I like to call her, has been my role model for a very long time. To Ron, I know that you will make my sister happy. I know because I've seen it every day in the way you make her laugh and smile. There's nothing I want more for her than to have someone who will always take care of her the same way she's always taken care of me. I know what it's like to have an older sister but I've never known the feeling of having an older brother until I met you. On May 17, 2015, on a Facebook photo of Melissa and Ron before prom, Gallen commented, it almost feels like you're getting married. Now, eight years later, look where we are. Goodbye, Tulu! <laughs>